<laughs> All right, say what you have. Say what you have. For all of our viewers, uh, oh, yeah. all right. Um, so what we've done so far is we built the navigation. Um, you may want to add this class active again if you want to. That makes that one tab or pill active, and it's like that's the site that you're on, the page that you're on. Now this next part, I'm going to still put in the container div. You can see that what I've done so far is I had a, my body opens, and then I've got this container div. And everything I do is going to be in this one big container div. Okay, I've already put the navigation in there. And now I'm going to build the overall structure for at least my home page. And the way that um, Bootstrap works is that it works in these columns. And if you went to the next page of that handout, you'll see that it's built into 12 different columns. So if you look at, go ahead and open that page so you can see what I'm looking at here. We've got that first 12 individual columns is a basic structure for if I wanted my site to literally have 12 columns. I can't imagine any site that would have 12 columns. Unless it was that site, I think, was it you, Felicia, that was looking at? Pitchfork? Yeah, Pitchfork had had that yeah. grid that was, I mean, maybe they were doing six columns. But not 12. There's really, but, but I put that there so you can see that each column would be 112. 112, 112. I would assume that most of your sites will be something like what we just did where we had the sidebar and we had the main part. And if you divided up your site into maybe three-fourths and one-fourth or two-thirds and one-third, that's probably what most of you are already, what, that's what you're probably going to want to do. Okay? And you can see that I've got, um, for example, the eight column, four column one. That's right below the 12. You'll see that the div opens up, and it's got a class of row, just like a table would. And all we're telling it to do is have a column that's eight wide, and then a column that's four wide. It's a little bit misleading, because this is your whole structure for your website. So your depth, this is, gonna, this is like the very, very concise version. You're going to have... H, you see where it says 8.12, 8 slash 12, inside the div? You're literally going to have images and H1s and H2s and all kinds of things in there. It's not just going to say 8.12, it's going to say a lot more than that. So I'm just going to show you kind of what that looks like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this div class equals row. And in that row, I'm going to have a div class equals call md8 and I'll just give it an h1 that says um, I guess this would be 8 twelfths and close that then I'm going to close that div and I'm going to do the same thing right below it copy and paste it but it's going to be uh, four, and this will be four twelfths, which is really what math people. Is it? <laughs> Let me refresh it, and now that's technically right because that's the responsive side of it. Like it. it it piled on top of one another. But when I pull it out to here, you can see it is eight, eight twelfths and four twelfths. You can't see the edge of them, but that really is eight twelfths and four twelfths. So that would be an example of a, you know, as you get, the reason it says medium is that when it gets to about a medium size, that's when it's going to jump. If I wanted it to be like at a small size, I could change this to SM. Like that, that would be more similar to what we just did with your responsive sites, where it wouldn't jump until it got to like that 480 pixels. Then it jumped. Then it jumped a little bit small. I mean, that's not 480. It's, it's you could do XS, which would be extra small. That would be 480. But you can do it here. You can tell it whether it's XS, SM, MD, LG, XL, all of those, whatever you would assume would be, that's when it's going to make the jump. Okay. <laughs> now, 
this really is not going to look like my H1 and my H I'm going to have, a, again, a lot more than just that in there. So when you figure out what you want to do, maybe you want to do, um, for your homepage, some people, what they might want to do and what I have here on the, um, let me just grab what I downloaded before. This is just something that I built before I got here. Um, I go to the downloads, I'm going to copy it. Paste it back into my SJMC folder and replace what I just did. Um, if you go to, well, the, obviously the banner is broken, but some people want, you know, on your homepage you're going to have like excellence, professionalism, technology. I don't know what you want to put there, but at least on the homepage it might look a little different. Or maybe you want to go with the 8.4 to get most of your content up. And the great thing about this is that you can mix and match. You can build an 8.4, and then once you close that row out, you can build a 3.3.3, three, three, three. or I guess it would be a 4.12, 4.12, 4.12, or a 3.12, 3.12, 3.12, 3.12, so it's 4. You know? So you're building your site, and that's why everyone's going to have a different site. For the people who just want <laughs> not a very, you know, crazy site, I would recommend just sticking with four, uh, yeah, eight twelfths, and then a four twelfth. Does that make sense? No? Four eight twelfths. It's literally on your sheet. Okay, when you get to that page, it's saying, okay, now choose a layout through the grid system. So we want the eight. I would say eight. If you're nervous and are about to puke, I would say go eight columns, four columns. Literally all your coding in the next step under your navigation is what I just did here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. Um, you can create a new container, but anyway, div class equals row. This, is, this means, when, when you say div class equals row, that means, okay, we have a new layout coming up. Then I'm going to go div class equals call md, and then I'm literally reading that right from the handout, md8. Um, and then this is where you're going to write whatever you're going to write, all about, consider this, because it's 8, that's going to be like your section div, if you would imagine back to the past site, because it's eight wide, that's where a bulk of your information is going to go, your images, your H1s, you're building your site here, you go ahead and close that, and then below that I'm going to do which one? Twelve. No, not a twelve. Four. Four. I want a four, and this is all my, like, sidebar. I would say maybe, okay, I'd put a Twitter widget here, your sidebar. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then i got to close my row. Save it. And you can't see it because my image is messing it up. But there literally is 8 here and 4 there. Okay. So what I have selected here... You've got your navigation. It just closed. Sorry, I closed the container and started a new container, but don't look at that. <laughs> You're starting a new row with an eight column, and then a four column, and then you're closing it. So this is literally what you're coding. That's, that's the layout for your site, okay? If you want to go ahead and make different layouts, make an eight, four, and then a three, three, I mean, that's up to you. But you're just choosing a layout, whether it's, you could, what if I wanted to make my sidebar on the left? How would I code that? Four, right. yeah, I would put the four here and then the eight here. If I wanted a nine, three, if I wanted to widen it a little bit and give me a little bit more room for my main div, I would make this a nine, three. Okay. If you want to do what you said where you like to do one of them, and then below it do a different one, uh -huh. you just put it right next to each you other. You literally, once you close this row, you, 
you would just do it right below it. So I'm going to take this stinking image out of here because it's messing things up. But now you're dealing with, again, I mean, we're dealing with a lot of divs now. And that's where these drawers might come in handy. If I wanted to make another row and I wanted this next one to be 4 and 8, I could save that, refresh, and now this is my, it's real tight because you can if, imagine this line being, it's way too thin, but this whole line is my 8, 4, and now this is my 4, 8. Now there's two different layouts there, obviously that looks terrible. <laughs> Maybe this will help. Oops. But this, it's exciting because you get to build like whatever you want it to look like, but it's also scary because you got to keep track of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. This maybe is a little bit easier, because my text ran over, but when it gets to this point, it all looks the same. So all I'm trying to say is choose one layout, whether it's an 8-4 or a 9-3 or a 3-3-3-3, you know, three, 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 kind of like the tables, choose one. If you want to go ahead and make two, that's totally up to you. Okay. But use that sheet as a guide. These are lots of different layouts, um, but it's all out of 12, right? These all add up to 12. And there's a structure here that we're following. Um, so go ahead and encode it, and then add some paragraph text. And like this is your home page, so you're building your site. So you're going to maybe have an H1 that says welcome. You're going to have um, some paragraphs that say what you want. You can maybe call up an image if you want to. Um, but all that would be done within this medium 8 div. I don't think you... Oh, okay. And I'm going to try to make mine look like yours so it's not so confusing. 